Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to connect a Chromebook to a monitor. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see right here, we have this Chromebook and we have this monitor and then we have the associated cable that we will use to connect both of them. Now this is a computer monitor. I'm not gonna flip it over because it's really dusty and it's really dirty. I haven't used it in a few years, but I did have it lying around, so I figured that it was perfect for this video tutorial. And this is a Chromebook. Now on your Chromebook, you're gonna look for a port that is the HDMI port. So I'm just gonna go and bring the camera down. You can see right here, let me actually I can just probably lift this up like this with one hand you can see right there that that is the HDMI port that's what it looks like right over there okay so you're gonna get the HDMI port I'll bring it close to the edge so we can do this easily after and then you're gonna look for the HDMI port on the monitor okay so both of those are inner ports you can see that's an inner port it goes in there that's an inner port as well it goes in there and then what you need is a cord, an HDMI cord, that has outers on both ends. So you can see this is an HDMI cord, it has the outer, uh, the outer port on both ends. It's very simple. Um, I'll show you how to make the connection and then I'll tell you what you're going to have to do to actually make your Chromebook display on the monitor, potentially, because it, it all depends on the individual Chromebook and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to try and do this with one hand over here. The HDMI cord only goes in in one direction, so I'm going to try and do it with one hand. Let's just try and, there we go. So make sure it's in there nice and firmly. I'm going to get the other end of the HDMI cord. We're going to bring it up. So I connected it to the Chromebook right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place it in the monitor. Once again, it only goes in in one direction, so it should... You shouldn't have to put a lot of force, it should just kind of slide in there like that. So right now I've connected, as you can see, from the Chromebook to the monitor over here. The connection has been made. So two more things need to happen in order to actually display the Chromebook on the monitor. Because I know you didn't come here just to see how to connect the cord. You probably want to know how to display it as well. So firstly, on your monitor, you need to go to your input uh, setting and and use the input of HDMI that you connected to. You might have more than one HDMI port on your monitor. So you want to go ahead and use the input. So in this case, I only have one HDMI port right here. So I would choose the HDMI input on the monitor settings. Sometimes it's going to be a button. You can see this buttons down here. Sometimes it's going to be a button uh, or you might have, uh, it might automatically choose this input when you plug it in. It all depends. But make sure you're on the HDMI input of the specific port that you're using. Secondly, on your Chromebook, you want to go ahead and you want to turn it on. And when you plug in an HDMI uh, cord to your Chromebook, some units will automatically project onto whatever it's connected to. So you might get lucky and it might just automatically project onto the monitor or you might actually have to manually do it. And if that's the case, you wanna look for a keyboard shortcut that will display it to the monitor or a setting inside of your Chrome OS that will display onto the monitor. It all depends on the specific unit and things can change over time. So I don't wanna give you specific instructions because it might be different in a year, two years, three years, five years from now. So just basically use your judgment to either look for a keyboard shortcut and you can, if you don't see one, you can check the user manual for your Chromebook as well or a specific Chrome OS setting that will display onto the monitor and that's basically it then you can have your Chromebook being displayed onto your computer monitor your computer screen and it can be a massive monitor it can be a smaller monitor it all depends right this is pretty big I don't remember what size this is this is pretty big but you can have an absolutely massive monitor so instead of having your Chromebook displayed on your small screen that comes with it you can display it on a much bigger monitor to show other people uh, a presentation or whatever the case is that's it if you like this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.